You ever notice how in every teacher movie, there are only like 12 kids in the class? And what teacher only has one class a day? No wonder they can make some magical transformation happen in three months or less. As a new teacher, it probably hasn't taken you long to figure out that the Hollywood take on teaching isn't realistic. Yet somehow we all feel the pressure to conform to that well-edited standard and embody every uplifting teaching quote that lands on Instagram. But even when your heart's in it, it's a tough task, especially for a new teacher who has so much to learn and decide, and all at once in a very public way. Even though we know we have the potential to have a positive influence on kids, it's often just too much to juggle everything within the school day, along with a home life. It can all lead to burnout, which is why it's not surprising that 50% of teachers leave the profession within five years. So what can you do to increase your happiness, success, and longevity in the classroom? It's not about acting on every classroom organization tip you see on Pinterest, jumping on every trend, or discovering the magic words to neutralize a student's bad attitude. Instead, the most important things to work on right now are developing the thinking habits that will help you first get a better sense of perspective about what's going on in your classroom, and also decide which tasks are most important to tackle. So in the Burnout Blockers mini-series, you'll learn how to watch out for cognitive biases, which are misjudgments that lead to irrational thinking. You'll get tips for hacking your brain to sustain positive thinking habits, and you'll learn new strategies for prioritizing your work. Getting these new ways of thinking in place will improve your ability to be calm, cool, and collected as you start your career. Learning how to make decisions that manage your stress now will prevent symptoms of burnout and help you hang in there for years to come. In your first few months of teaching, every little thing you're not sure how to handle will surprise and possibly overwhelm you. So if you've secretly fantasized about the power being knocked out to the school for a week just so you can get caught up on your work and sleep, don't feel bad. It just means that you're a teacher who cares about getting it all done well. This is why it helps to understand the position your mind is in right now. Back in your college classes, you probably got A's on your unit plans and your My Philosophy of Education essay. You got great reviews as a student teacher and you aced your job interview. It all gave you faith in your abilities. And there's nothing wrong with having some self-confidence. But be aware that these are the conditions that make it easy to fall into the cognitive bias of the Dunning-Kruger effect. Check it out. For Miss Newman, going from knowing almost nothing about teaching when she started a certification program to knowing a fair amount at the end of it felt like a major change. And she feels like her expensive program should have prepared her for everything, right? So when she got hired for a teaching job, she felt pretty confident. Truth be told, there's no way Miss Newman's college classes could have prepared her for exactly what she'd face at one particular school. Still, when she realized that there's a lot more to learn and practice, it felt like the bottom dropped out, and now she feels the opposite way, that she knows absolutely nothing, which zaps her confidence temporarily, even though these new experiences are actually helping her become more competent. She notices that she's comparing herself to other teachers a lot right now, which can be a thing that crushes her spirit or gives her a way to look forward to the future. Think of it this way. Even though Miss Newman may have the exact same job description as Miss Yearsley, her super with it colleague who's been teaching for a long time, she just can't expect herself to have the same level of understanding about the classroom. Miss Yearsley, the superstar, did not walk out of college knowing how to start those few minutes of class, design a rubric, or deal with students' cell phones either. So Miss Newman shouldn't fret. If Miss Newman reframes her differences as an opportunity to let Miss Yearsley know she admires her teaching style and would be honored if she could be her mentor instead of her competitor, she'll feel better about herself because she's taking the initiative to improve. As Miss Newman learns her tips from her colleagues and puts her own spin on them over the next few years, her competence will increase, so she'll start to feel confident again. And at that point, her confidence is well earned. In a few years, she'll actually want to avoid the opposite trap within the Dunning-Kruger effect, thinking that something's easy for everyone because she forgets how complex it is. So she should try to keep in mind what might be new to her students or another newbie teacher about her subject and the routines of the school. So let's recap. As a new teacher, keep in mind that there's no way your college program could have fully prepared you for your early years in the classroom. It's okay for it to feel like a tough time, but you shouldn't let yourself be totally demoralized by the Dunning-Kruger effect. 
Make friends with teachers with a few more years under their belts who can give you pointers on the daily routine and share lesson materials. And be sure to bring them snacks. In the next Burnout Blockers video, we'll cover how you can reduce stress in teaching by getting a better perspective about skill and chance. The Alliance for Decision Education is dedicated to the belief that better decisions lead to better lives and a better society. Our mission is to improve lives by empowering students with the decision skills to be better decision makers and better understand the world they live in. If you like what you learned in this video, check out what we can help you teach your students. Our HabitWise and Mindful Choices programs bring positive structure to their daily routines to help them manage life stressors and make better decisions. Go to programs.allianceforDecisionEducation.org to get free access to the lesson materials.